I said we'd come back to this matter of formatting our price. You can see that the numbers here aren't in a dollar value or in a currency value. There are these very large numbers that don't seem to correspond with the item itself. What we're going to need to do is format each one of these numbers because the numbers that we're using have been included specifically for Stripe. Since our store is going to be in dollars, in the currency of US dollars, everything has been converted to 10 times its actual amount. So for an item that's 295, you can see that this is 295. So how do we display this correctly to our users? Well, one of the tools that we're going to be using across our components within our React client, as well as on our server, is this Use Shopping Cart hook. And this gives us a specific tool to properly format Stripe amounts to display to our user. And since we're going to be using this functionality a lot across our components, we're going to, within our Utils folder, use this and use and create this special function format product price. And what this function will do is it will accept an entire product with all of its data, and it's going to return its appropriate price to display. This is going to require importing a special function called format currency string, and this is from the use shopping cart dependency. For format currency string, it takes an object with three properties. The first one being the value, and that comes from, in our case, product.price. If we look at our JSON file, it comes from this price property. As well as a currency, we need to provide a currency. That's also provided on each one of our products from product.currency, USD or US dollars. And language is going to be something that we can get from our browser, specifically from the navigator feature. We can get it from navigator.language. So with this function, we're automatically exporting it. So we can use it here in product item. And we can take the entire product. We can call format product price, import it, pass in product, and we get back the price, which we'll put in this price variable. And we can use that underneath and replace that, put that in the place of product.price. And make sure that you are returning the result of this. Make sure to return the result of the function format currency string. Otherwise, you're not going to see anything for that price. So when we save product list, we can see all the values changed. So 295 becomes $2.95. And we have the correct values for each one of our other products as well.